All right, Tuesday's homework looks very similar to Monday's homework. A uh, couple different slides here, um, but it's from the same bundle that I purchased from Teachers Pay Te Teachers. So uh, it looks the same. Uh, again, you're going to fill out your name and date, and you've got information and instructions down here on the bottom of the screen. Uh, today we're going to be estimating decimal products. Um, it says round each decimal to the nearest hole to estimate the product. You're going to be clicking and dragging uh, numbers up here to make things that make sense. That obviously does not make sense, but you get the point. Uh, if we were in class, I would tell you uh, to uh, your estimate is yours. I would tell you the easiest thing to do would be just to drop off the decimal part of the number and I would say just make an estimate six times three it's just got to get close uh, it doesn't have to be perfect uh, but since you are given certain numbers here you need to round these decimal numbers and some you're going to be rounding up to the next whole number some you're going to be leaving the same and I want to think about this decimal number as a dollar amount so six times three dollars and eighty cents well, $3.80, that's closer to $4 than it is to 3 So this is going to be 6 times 4. Okay. Uh, here's $7.20, $20.40, and $9.50. This is the only one, you know, when you get to half of something, 5 or more raise the score. So $9.50, that's actually going to round up to guess what? That's right. Okay, so that's what you're going to do on those two slides. Again, you're rounding to the nearest whole number. So even though we've got hundredths here now, the hundredths are not going to play much of a part in the rounding. Okay, if you're rounding to the whole number, you know you're looking right to the right. You're looking at the first decimal place value, the tenths, to determine whether it's going to be the same or round up. So six and $6.72. These even look like dollar amounts, don't they? $6.72, that's going to round up to $7, right? Okay. So $2.91, $0.88, $8.52. Uh, down here, you're going to be typing them in. There's no click and drag, so you're going to be typing these in. So $7.45 is closer to 7 than it is to 8. So 7 times 9, there you go, and you're going to type in your answer right there. Uh, that is, of course, 63. Sure it is. It's 7 times 10 minus 7. That's how I always think of the 9s. It's the number times 10 minus the number. So I would think 7 times 10 minus 7, 63. Everybody does it a little bit differently. Some people like to do the 9s on their fingers. However you like to do it, that's fine with me. Next slide, use estimation to circle the reasonable product. You'll notice that all these digits are the same. The only thing that has changed is the location of the decimal point. Uh, lo changing the location of the decimal point goes from here, we have a 195 thousandths uh, to 195. So 3 times 6 and 5 tenths. Again, I can think of money. 3 times $6.50. Would that be closer to 195 thousandths, 1 and 95 hundredths, 19 and 5 tenths, or 195? So I would click and drag here. 3 times 6 is close to 18. So 3 times 6 and a half, that's going to be a little bit more than 18 because 6 and a half is a little bit more than 6. 19 and a half sounds reasonable. So you're going to do the same thing for each of those. And in the last one, you're going to be placing the decimal point. So you're going to grab one of these decimal points and you're going to place it in the number. Uh, so six times six and eight tenths times seven. Well, if I was going to make an estimate, six and eight tenths would round up to seven, which is seven times seven, that's 49. So my answer here needs to be close to 49. So no decimal out front, not between the four and seven four and seventy six hundredths. We need it here so that our answer is forty seven and six tenths. It's close to forty seven, okay? Uh, or close to forty nine. Seven times seven would be forty nine. So we need an answer here that's close to forty nine. 
So you'll be clicking and dragging these decimal points to place them there. And that is it for your homework. Okay, when you're done, you will simply click out and then turn in. Okay, and I'll turn in that one, even though I didn't finish it. You should finish yours. All right, that is it. Thank you very much. Good luck on your homework.